Hey guys and welcome to News in a Nutshell for July the 3rd. This is the program that recaps the 5 biggest stories in the gaming world and puts it into one concise package. Uh, sorry about last week and sorry that we are outside. Um, last week I was away and I had PC issues and today it's a bit late and it's a bit dark in my room. Um, so without any further ado, here is the top 5 stories of this week. Great games at Games Fest 2011. Yeah, uh, this September in Birmingham's NEC, uh, games like Mass Effect 3, Battlefield 3, and FIFA 12 will be shown. Uh, lots more games will be shown in the two-day uh, event, courtesy of the retailer game. Hopefully, uh, we will be there covering some exclusive hands-on and interviews, and you'd be able to see that. But uh, that is. Uh, that's down to if I have time or I can be bothered. Uh, PS Vita face recognition demo. So over in Tokyo, Sony have been uh, showing off the power of the Vita uh, with a face recognition tech demo. Uh, it involves a lot of umming and ring and blinking. And I think at the end of the video, they actually had headaches. Um, FIFA 12 release date. Uh, this is old news, but I thought I'd just uh, put it in there because we missed it last week, and uh, I thought you guys, guys would like to know. Um, FIFA 12 will be released in the US on September the 27th. Don't know why it's being released in the US beforehand, but hey ho! And in Europe on September the 30th on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Bungie Aerospace revealed. Bungie have come up and revealed the first content since Halo Reach. So it's just a couple of games from the mobile devices, you know, uh, iPhone and the Android devices. And Crimson was set to be launched this summer. The iOS and Android devices. Call of Duty XP 2011 has been announced. So it's like BlizzCon, but only Call of Duty Con. Um, they're having their own very own um, fan event in LA this September the 2nd and 3rd. Uh, tickets will cost $150 and will include two days of tournaments, paintball, and a mock up of the pit we play paintball in. And fans will get their hands on early access of Modern Warfare 3's uh, multiplayer and spec ops. And all the money, all that $150, will go to a veterans channel. So there you go guys, they were the top 5 stories for this week. Um, if you enjoyed what you see, uh, come back next week for be sure to have more news and uh, more gaming knowledge for you next Sunday. See you guys.